Yes, indeed. The What It Takes Radio Company, we present interesting ideas, insight, influence, impact, and income, and with Stan Houston. And today, here we go. Yes, I'm still telling people to throw away their resume and don't interview, do something better. That's right. Well, Greetings, let me tell you the story Stan Houston about once that. again uh, for interesting ideas for this Tuesday. Uh, this is the day where we're going to try and uh, answer again some of your questions about Stan. Are are you still teaching this idea? And see if it's still useful today for many of you after these many years of me teaching it. So uh, that's the subject. Stan, are you still? teaching people to uh, throw away their resume and um, don't interview. That's right. Don't interview. Do something different. Well, that's what I'm going to talk about today. Some of you have made the point that uh, you do kind of like uh, the video blogging, the video podcasting, and that is increasingly popular for many people. Uh, they still like the idea of perhaps having a little more uh, contact with their uh, with her radio host and uh, being able perhaps to see that and be kind of eye contacting is somewhat helpful. Well, today, as I said, that was the subject, but uh, we begin on a, on a somber note. Uh, as the news came forward yesterday, uh, there were two things that were of interest. First of all, uh, there has been a significant study that came out of Norway, which basically uh, hits a very, very strong uh, argument against the uh, so-called uh, climate change agenda. And uh, I don't think it'll get a lot of publicity, but it's out there. And it's from Europe, where there seemingly was a lot of acceptance of it. And uh, in effect, uh, if you want to look it up and uh, just, hey, <laughs> say, Stan, send me the climate link, and I'll be glad to do that for you. But it says, uh, you know, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Um, it's, it's not going to happen as they think. In fact, in some cases, the evidence is right now that uh, uh, we could be in for a, a kind of a cold climate in the, the years that are ahead of us. Let's see. So it's nice not to have to worry about that. I really didn't anyhow, but uh, I give you permission to join me now. However, the records of the atrocities that were uh, committed by the, the men and women of Hamas, um, the, the Jewish civilians in the South, um, yes, horrific, horrific. And I'll even use the word, uh, because it's real, uh, demonic. And uh, I believe in that. <laughs> The uh, prayer of Jesus said, hey, deliver us from the power of the evil one. And there are demonic forces in the world. They're real. It's not just psychological. It is uh, spiritual and real. And um, they can take possession of our bodies, mind, soul, and spirit. And uh, we can uh, land up doing some things that probably probably shouldn't. And that has to be quite an understatement. Here we go. Um, let me tell you where the origins of the uh, throw away your resume began. First of all, I looked at the traditional resume and uh, I went through all that process and they're all alike. Uh, they're all super coached. They are all using all the right words and. Uh, of course, it has come down to the point where oftentimes most of them aren't even read. They're run through a scanning machine, which looks perhaps for key words, and then they, they grab them from then. And so um, we spend a lot of time and money doing a traditional resume. But this is what hit me. Does anyone really care when I graduated from high school? <laughs> Do they really care that I graduated from college? Do they really care uh, that I have a college degree? Do they really care that I do this and this and this and this and this and this? No. What they care about is, can you help us make money? <laughs> this is a business. 
This is an organization. Uh, we're trying to uh, make money so we can support the organization and the good cause and do the things that are necessary to uh, meet uh, the needs of our stakeholders. Um, can you help us do that right now? And none of the resumes are about that. Now, then they say, oh, but do a cover letter. <laughs> no, don't do a cover letter. <laughs> Here's what I suggest we begin to do. I used to do something like this. Um, we would just post an announcement and say, uh, um, please, if you're interested in this job, do this. Um, watch the video and that will describe the job and um, what we're looking for. Then I want you to volunteer for an audition. That's right. Volunteer for an audition. You tell us why we should give you an audition. Now, you've got a video camera. You've got a, a, an ability to do that. Uh, tell us why uh, we should audition you. Now, we're assuming, of course, that you've done some research into our company and you know a lot about us and you know what's up. And as a result of that, and you've watched our video, which has given you a description of what we want. Now, uh, raise your hand and say, I'd like to audition. And um, what the customers and the clients of mine who did that found, it was incredible. <laughs> it saved them so much time, so much energy. Um, they saw them in person. They saw them perform. Um, they had some ability to sense a lot about them. And then they decided to do the audition. And the point was that then, if you were selected for the audition, you were to come in and uh, we were not going to ask you any questions. We are just simply going to uh, have three people sitting there and you'll be given a chair or a stool or a little platform if that's what you want. And you demonstrate to us that you can help our business go and grow. That's what we want you to do. So I oftentimes say, don't interview people, audition them. And hey, you, use that word. I'd like to audition for a role, a position in your company. And that becomes a whole new way of looking at the uh, process of a uh, recruitment. Then why, why send them something that has nothing to do. As I point out, the resume actually says, this is what I did in the past. <laughs> okay. This is what I did in the past. <laughs> and uh, I'd like you to hire me based on my past performance. <laughs> I'd like to know what you can do for me in the present. And so I, I actually suggested that uh, you take a piece of cardstock, you know, something very simple like this one. Uh, so it's a thicker than a piece of paper. And you actually decide to create a story card, a story card. Uh, have, uh, have your picture, nice picture of you there. Um, doesn't have to be a formal portrait, but a picture that uh, has a reflection of your character or interest. And then uh, you simply by saying something like this, you know, here's actually the case. I have been sober for 19 years. And then you do a brief summary of your life. And then, in effect, you go through and you answer, and we could tell you more. You answer questions like this. is uh, These are the things that I learned from some of my past experiences. Oh, I don't need to know everything about what you did. What are the things you learned from your past job or other experiences? Um, then um, this is what I can do and what I'm really good at right now. This is what I'm good at. 
this is what I can do. And then you very simply state, this is how I can help you in the future. This is how I can help you in the future. And then you request an audition. And uh, you carry that with you. You hand that to them. Uh, someone says, "Well, how can I help you?" Say, "Well, would you pass on my would you pass on my story card?" And you carry it with you. Uh, whenever you you know quote fill out an application form, fine, and uh, include your story card with it. And it's interesting. Now, the reason part of this how this worked is remember what I said. I had a I had a, a friend of mine who. Uh, Let's face it, he'd gone through some really tough times. And as he said, Stan, my resume stinks. There's gaps where I was unemployed. What I'm going to put in that, you know? And, you know, so no, no one is going to look at my resume the way it is and give me a job. And I said, we did a story card and it was honest not padded. And that's exactly how he began. His name, his contact information. I've now been sober for 19 years. However, those have been difficult and challenging years. Years of uh, sometimes uh, not making it, perhaps losing opportunities, making the wrong choice. But uh, I want you to know that at this time in my life, I am sober and I have a uh, prepared myself to be able to help you and your company do well. Boom. Lay it out there. Lay it out there. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. And then, like I said, this is what I've learned. <laughs> so one of them said, I, uh, have a, uh, I have an advanced degree from the University of Hard Knocks. <laughs> Added that to it, you know. Uh, I I have completed a number of classes and courses in uh, you know, but again, tell them what you are good at now, and then be able to share how you have been thoughtful and how you think you can be helpful and useful to that company now. So he took the he took the that card and he 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 started he went out to a job fair and started to pass it around and he was going around there and and there happened to be you know he was going to walk away from it it was a, a Lexus dealership and uh, I said oh well you know <laughs> went and introduced himself and uh, he just simply said uh, sir uh, I've had a lot of experience in sales um, uh, would you would you look at my uh, story card. Striker. Um, and he looked at it. Then after a while, the guy looked up and smiled. And he said, congratulations. Good for you. Uh, I've been sober for 21. Good for you. I understand. A little conversation. He picked up his phone and said, uh, said hey, uh, gave his name and said, to his sales manager, I'm sending. Uh, I'm sending Richard over. I've looked at his story card. Uh, I think you should consider. I think we'll consider hiring him. I think he can work out real well. Followed up. He got the job. It was his story card. It was his personal story. It was his humility. His, his ability. And he was good about that. He had learned a lot of things. And uh, he knew uh, how he could perhaps help these people because he, you know, as he said, you know, sometimes, you know, you, you, you can't con a drunk because we're cons in the first place. We know, we, we know how to do it and we know how to recognize it. So I simply put this story in your heart, mind, and spirit. Yeah, I'm still teaching that. It hasn't been well accepted. Lots of people still think it's stupid and crazy. But really, when it comes right down to it in today's world, why do you want to know what they did in the past? 
Does that just make you feel important that you've hired somebody with a college degree? <laughs> it's getting to the point where you wonder if that was even a worthy investment for them. Does that just mean they have a lot of debt? <laughs> Does that mean that you guessed it? What? So think about that. If you're in business, stop interviewing people. Start requesting auditions. That means they have to come in and demonstrate. They actually have to put on a demonstration of how they can do it. I oftentimes point out is uh, one day um, a rather scraggly, skinny young gal in Brooklyn uh, walked walked into a walked into a studio and said she'd like to sing. And they looked at her, looked at her, and uh, they said, "Okay, go up to the." Go up to the chair and sing. And Barbara Streisand sang her heart out. She auditioned. And you know, as I oftentimes point out, all of life is an audition. You know, we're always auditioning for relationships. We're always in the business of seeking new opportunities. Uh, life is a stage. Business is show business. Uh, and uh, we're always on stage, and in a way, we're always doing audition work. And then always be prepared to audition, always be prepared to share your story, and always be prepared to delight people with a uh, smile, a sense of humor, and most importantly, maybe. A touch of humility. Yep, I'm still teaching that, still doing that, right? Throw away your resume. Who cares? Don't interview. What are they going to say? <laughs> uh, let them demonstrate how good they are. Just let them demonstrate how good they are. They're all practiced for your questions, so don't ask any. It's fully up to them to be able to show you how they can perform, obviously under some pressure, but also given the opportunity to demonstrate their wisdom, their insight, their truth, uh, their personality, their perseverance, and all the things that you want. Uh, if that's what you're looking for, now you have a pretty good idea of the man or woman who is in front of you. There we go. I'm done for today. Uh, thank you very, very much. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow. I think we're on we're on audio tomorrow. Uh, I'm never quite sure what we'll do. But it is the program. It is a podcast. It is sometimes a video podcast. It's called Interesting Ideas. And I'm Stan, Stan Houston. And I'm in the business of helping you come up with more insight, influence, impact so that you can live a better life starting now. I'm going to help you be a world-class business coach. I can help you if you want to be a broadcaster. I can help you very, very much in coaching you to be very, very good at marketing you. I'm in the business of helping you be really good at being you. All the best and blessings to you. Again, reach out to me at stanhouston at gmail.com, stanhouston at gmail.com. Until next time, all the best. Bye for now.